press-in cookie crust is one of the easiest to make. So it's just perfect for a beginner baker or anyone who needs a fast but glamorous dessert. In this episode, I'll show you how to make a stylish ricotta lime tart with the ginger snap crust that's shockingly easy and quick to make. You've probably made a graham cracker cookie crust before, but today I'm going to show you how versatile and interesting and easy they really are to make. For starters, you can make them with any kind of crisp cookie you would like. You can make them with vanilla wafers, chocolate wafers, graham crackers, obviously, ginger snaps. You can also check out Moravian cookies. Those are the super thin cookies. They come in all sorts of great new flavors now, like Meyer lemon and chocolate orange. Really exciting stuff to try out. We're going to be using ginger snaps today, and the easiest way to pulverize them into, into crumbs is to use a food processor. Break up your cookies, just crumble them up a little bit, pop them in, and then put the lid on, and then pulse. Yep, that's just right. You want to pulse until the crumbs are finely ground, just like that. If you don't have a food processor, you can also make this crust. Seal top bag, zipper top bag, the heavy duty ones are the best. Uh, they hold up more. You pop your cookies in. Push out the air, otherwise you'll pop the bag. And then once your cookies are in place and you're bag is all set, just take a rolling pin and do a combination of a smash and roll until the cookies are finely ground. Takes a little longer, but you'll end up with the same wonderful result. All in all, for this tart that we're making today, you'll need one cup of crumbs, and if you use a scale, one cup of finely ground cookie crumbs weighs four and a half ounces. There, that looks great. Okay, it looks like our crumbs are all set. We're ready to make our crust. In the mixing bowl, we have our crushed, finely ground cookies and a little bit of sugar, granulated sugar. I'm just going to use a regular table fork and mix that all together till it's combined. And then add in three tablespoons of melted, unsalted butter. Give that a stir with the fork until the crumbs are completely moistened with the butter. I'm mixing, I'm stirring, and I'm also doing a bit of a rub with the fork to make sure it's well blended. This looks just great. From here, we're going to take our crumbs and put them into our tart pan that's a nine and a half inch tart pan with a removable bottom. You want to make sure it has that removable bottom. That's going to make it easy to serve. And the crumbs, just pop them right in. Now to press them into the crust, I like to use a piece of plastic wrap. I think it speeds the process and it keeps the crumbs off my hands. So using the plastic wrap as a guide, I'm just taking a little bit of crumbs and pressing firmly up against the sides. And I go all the way around like that. And it is important to make sure that you are firmly packed here. Once it's in the oven, the crust won't, won't cook up properly if it's not firmly packed. Now with the remaining crumbs, just move them around across the bottom, trying to make an even coat. And then press them in. You can either press in with your hands like you did the sides, or I like to use a straight-sided uh, metal measuring cup. And just using, again, right over the plastic wrap, just press down. Don't forget to press into the corners where the side meets the bottom to make sure you have a nice edge. You can also use a tart tamper if you have one. It does the same job. There we go. And let's see, feels right. Let's take the plastic wrap off and check, and I can see that there are a few areas that aren't firmly packed, so using the tart tamper, since I have it right here, 
just gonna double check and make sure we get a nice crust. There we go. And now we're ready to bake. We're gonna bake our unfilled crust in a 350 degree oven until it starts smelling nice and nutty and fragrant. That'll take about 10 minutes. Yeah, that smells great. Get it out of the oven and set it on a wire cooling rack until it's completely cool. It'll take about 20 minutes, but in the meantime, we'll make the filling. I like to team my crunchy sweet crusts with a creamy filling. This one's a ricotta filling that has a little bit of cream cheese in it to stabilize it. And you wanna mix these two together until the cream cheese is nice and smooth. Just like with a cheesecake, you don't want any lumps of cream cheese in there. Okay, that looks nice and smooth and we're ready to add granulated sugar, touch of flour, this will help stabilize the filling, and three egg yolks. And don't forget the salt. Salt is very important in desserts. I use table salt for all of my recipes. Mix this together. Now we're gonna flavor this filling with lime. Lime juice and finely grated lime zest. But you can use any citrus you want. You can use orange, lemon is lovely. And then you're just gonna mix this until it's combined. Once you've added the eggs, you don't wanna over mix the filling, it will cause it to puff up and crack. Mmm, it smells great. Okay, that looks just great. And now we're ready to pour in to our crust. Get every last bit in there. There, as you can see, the tart pan is very full. And we're gonna bake this tart in a 350 degree oven until the center jiggles slightly when the pan is nudged. That will take about 30 minutes. When the tart is finished and cool, just remove the outer ring. It's easy. I like to set it on top of a large can of tomatoes and then just let the outer ring drop off and transfer tart to a cutting board where it's ready to slice and serve.